What's up guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing a Patreon request from Emmanuel on Patreon. This is Reverse Flash. I asked him if he wanted him running and he said, no, do it standing. So we'll just do a standard portrait. I might do running. I think he wants me to do the running one another time. So we'll see how that goes. Landscape page, use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. Center point here, up over to the right, start with the eyes. The skinny sort of eyes. We go up and over that way. Then we go diagonal down this way. And we bring it back into the corner. Small iris, red, sort of glowing eyes on this guy. So just there. And then a little line coming off the front of the eye. And then he's got like eyelid lines. This is from the cartoon series, I think. <clears throat> so he's got like a big frowning line, right? That goes here. It's kind of like his eyebrow, but it becomes his mask as well. And so it goes down there and it goes all around the eye. Right, like this. And this frown will go up this way. Okay. So we'll go over and do the same thing on the other side. So we go diagonal for the eye shape. You're about eye width over. So like the width of his eye will fit in between. It's probably even bigger than eye width. You can definitely fit an eye in here. So you don't want them too close together. Right, so this goes across, back in, back over, and then small iris, like so. He's got like an extra line coming off, and then another sort of line going down this way. And then we do that frown line that becomes the mask, right? So it goes up, down, just copy in the other side, back around, up and in. Doesn't have to be the exact same on both sides. And then we'll finish this frowning line there. Okay, so his nose, so we just got a nose line going down here. And the other side as well. And then his nostrils, we got a nostril here, just below those lines down there. And then we join them together with a little curve coming across this way. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had a cat cough this past one, so it's a bit tickly. And then this goes up, in. This goes up and in. there right so he's smiling he's got like a big sort of evil grin kind of thing right so it curves just under his eyes right that's where you start right Not under the eye on this side and then this goes across so okay so look like his mouth is closed but we'll open it up and up to there and then we just add a little bit of teeth just in the corners his bottom lip then just below there and his chin pretty far down from there now you got because he's got a big square chin kind of exaggerated in the show okay Oh, I forgot an eyelid line up here. Right, so that's the features of the face. Generally, proportion-wise, I would say eyebrow to his nostrils or to the bottom of the nose. Right, so here to here, it's about the same as here to here, bottom of the nose to the chin, roughly. So this and this are about the same, okay? It doesn't have to be exact, but that's what you're dealing with. And then bottom of the nose to the bottom lip is about the same as bottom lip to chin. So here and here, about the same as here and here. Right, and once you get that, we can go for his big square jaw that sticks out this way and kind of curves out like 
that. So it kind of curves this way. You're stopping sort of underneath the edge of his mask there. And then across from his mouth. Then you change direction for his jaw. Goes up that way, right? A real exaggerated comic book style. Sort of jaw now. Then his cheekbones come in here, right? So you got like this line that goes this way. Curving in like so. And then this goes up and then around his temple. And a little bit further onto his forehead. And then the round part of his head is out up. This way, same on the other side. We go same place, really. Try and keep it even. It goes up to like a pointy part at the top, and then around the top of his skull and down. Right, now there's some more details inside here for the rest of his mask, right? So we got like the mask on his face here, here, and then it kind of goes around his eyes at a couple of angles, like that. There, and then goes over his nose. Now remember if I go too fast, hit pause. He's got some lines around the side of his mouth here as well. Okay. Right, and then his, his ear covering things, right? So this comes down this way. And then he's got the lightning or spikes that just come up here, right? So two lines curving up, kind of get skinnier at the top. And then we have the spike at the top of it here. The line through the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> that cough, really annoying. Right, so then we just kind of do the same thing on the other side. We just carve it out and down. To about there. And then we have another sort of spike line up here. Like so. And then we do. And then this kind of spikes up this way. You want to sort of stop, same level. Back down, in, and just do line like so. Doop. Okay, so then anatomy. So his neck is real big. He's a muscly guy, right? So big neck coming down here. Coming down like so. So like we're talking Dragon Ball proportion muscles, right? Right, and then his trapezius, so right there, right, and same on the other side. Real big. And then we have neck muscles that go in towards collarbones. So like center line for his chest would be about here, right? And your collarbones normally go out and across towards your sides of your shoulders, like the tops of your shoulders there. Going out that way, maybe like another few lines just for muscles. And he's got his crest, his lightning crest right in the middle, right? So you just go up, down, like so, and there's a circle around it. If you want to use a cup or something to draw your circle, if you have one the right size, you can. But if not, just try and go for it freehand.
right? Something like that. Not the perfect, most perfect circle I've ever drawn, of course. Best I can do. So. <clears throat> right, so then, like his chest comes down here, his chest muscles. Go up there. Like so. Tops them will go that way. All right, you might have some abs just here. The shoulders will come out from here. Might be big wide shoulders. Bicep muscle inside there and then the rest of his shoulder muscle just comes out from his armpit area they all connect in there your chest and your like bicep and your shoulder all connect inside in the armpit inside there right and then we have his triceps sticking off sort of a little bit here and Give him more muscle fibers if you want. But that's it. That's how to draw reverse flash. I think it's from Flashpoint. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for the request on Patreon, Emmanuel. Anyone have specific requests on Patreon? Head over there. You don't have to sign up forever. You could just sign up the one month and make your request and then bye-bye. So hope it was helpful. See you in the next one. Bye.